Bias in machine learning. How do we measure if our models are fair? We will look at some metrics to measure fairness in machine learning models from the confusion matrix for a classification setting. Why do we care about fairness in our ML models? Let's take an example. Suppose you're building a model to check for loan eligibility. You could be using features like the income level, locality, gender, education level, age, and so on. Now, it's possible that there are very few women who actually qualified for a loan in our data set. Now, this could be because most of the women had a lower income perhaps, but the algorithm might learn that women are less likely to qualify for a loan. So, it's possible that a highly successful female CEO actually applies for a loan from an MNC and is denied a loan because our model has learned that women are less likely to qualify for a loan. This is clearly not what we want and our model is not being fair. How do we actually make our models fair? There are many approaches to handling fairness. Some are pre-processing approaches. For example, we remove the sensitive features. In this case, we remove the gender so that the algorithm learns only that you know lower income people actually are less eligible and it's not based on gender, for instance. Or we could actually change the distribution so that people who got a loan are equally represented from both groups or genders here. In processing, for instance, we could change the objective function to incorporate a fairness criterion. Or we could use post-processing techniques where in uncertain regions, for instance, we could give a more favorable outcome to sensitive groups through some form of thresholding, or there could be other ways of doing post-processing as well. But in order to figure out and use one of these techniques, we need to first understand that our models are biased or are not fair. How do we figure out if our models are being fair? So there are many metrics to measure fairness and it really depends on the task. Classification could have like a different set of metrics as would regression, as would clustering and different algorithms have uh, kinds of problems have different metrics. Let's look at binary classification, a very popular paradigm that we typically use. And let's look at some metrics based on the confusion matrix. And these are probably the simplest possible metrics you can look at and there are many others. So what's the confusion matrix? The confusion matrix typically gives us the true positives, false positives, false negatives, true negatives when we run a classifier. What are some metrics you can measure for fairness based on confusion matrix? The first is to compute the true positive rate across different groups. True positive rate is the number of true positives divided by the true positives plus false negatives. In other words, to put it in simpler terms, it's the recall, which is the total number of positive examples is in the denominator and you're trying to find the ratio of examples correctly classified as positive in comparison with the total number of positives. How many of the positives were actually classified as positive? Is this now the same for the male and the female groups? Do we have the same recall in both the groups? This could be a way of measuring fairness. Another, and this is called equal opportunity where both groups are getting equal opportunity of getting classified as, you know, true, the recall is the same. Another technique that is used is equalized odds, which is we compare the false positive rate in addition to the true positive rate. The false positive rate is the number of false positives divided by the total number of negatives. Intuitively, this is out of all the examples that are negative, how many were misclassified as positive? Now, is this ratio the same for both the sensitive groups, the male and the female? If this is the same, in addition to the true positive rate being the same, or the recall being the same, that would give us a notion of fairness. So, another metric that is commonly used is accuracy. So, accuracy is one of the most popular metrics used for binary classification. So accuracy is the total number of correctly classified examples divided by the total number of instances we tried to classify. Is the accuracy same across both the groups, that of the male examples and the female examples in the test set? So these are three metrics, simple metrics we saw to see how we can look at parity or whether our models are being fair with respect to 
different groups in this case male and female with respect to gender now you could construct groups based on other attributes for instance you could have groups based on age to see if there is some kind of age bias or you could actually have racial groups that you're looking at to see if your model is fair in terms of uh, you know from the, a racial perspective so we looked at three simple metrics based on the confusion matrix so here is a reference that you could look at fairness in machine learning is a recent survey uh, 2020 in archive which talks about different ways of handling fairness in machine learning algorithms and also different kinds of metrics you can use to measure so we only talked about the very simple metrics but you could take a look at this paper for a more complete picture thank you